Hi, my name is Agata. Welcome in Agata's Cottage. Today I have Friday Shows video for you. Hashtag Friday Shows was started by Jen from Today in Jen's Sewing Room. Every week vloggers are chatting about their makes, their plans, about their lives and of course theme of the week. This week Jen asked us do we have sewing companion in our sewing space. And I have several. One uh, is Alice, my daughter. Sometimes she come over and help. Sometimes uh, she just, you know, come over and chat when I'm sewing. Um, and two cats. So uh, Reaper and Rainbow. Uh, they like to help, call it like that. Very often uh, they will... Uh, try to chase the fabric when I'm cutting out or uh, Rainbow's favorite thing is to knock down the bin beside my sewing machine and dig all the threads and spread them around my bedroom. She usually does it in the middle of the night. So, you know, they are fun. And of course, Reaper loves to sleep uh, somewhere where I need to move my chair or on my sewing chair. Any minute when I will get up, I need to iron something or I need to look for matching ribbing or any reason for me to leave the chair. He's there, he will jump on the chair and then he gives out to me if I try to move him. Very often he will sit on my lap when I'm sewing, which is not the most comfortable way of sewing, but I wouldn't change it for anything. Uh, I love they want to help out and it's uh, nice that I'm not on my own fully if you know what I mean. So what I've been up to during last week. I made a good few things mainly for Alice. I cut out a few more uh, and I actually cut out a good few makes for me. I made only one but I'm in process of finishing the other. So first thing that I made for myself is this top. It's Galaxy T. I don't remember pattern designer, but I will put the link to the pattern uh, in the description box. I did change the pattern a bit and I will change it further when uh, I will be doing it next time, because there will be next time. I did a size 104 centimeters, even though my bust measurement is slightly higher. It's still relatively loose uh, fitting, uh, but I like it. Um, I narrowed the neck band. I, up, up, I put the first band the way it was, but it was way too wide. So I cut it in half on the lengthwise and I just did small neck band and I love it way more uh, than it was originally. Uh, when I put the draft version, basically I just stitched the shoulder seams on myself, I noticed that there is the shoulder would be somewhere here. So I took the French curve um, ruler and I removed one inch from the shoulder seam and just slightly eased off uh, up to the notches. It's not by the book way of doing the sh narrow shoulder adjustment however when you have a fabric already cut out that's one of the easiest ways uh, to do it so because the sleeve have gathering uh, just slightly bit less gathered because the curve got slightly longer but i do love how it turned out and um, i made those bands narrower because they were very wide and i don't like super wide bands uh, on my tops so i think it turned out great i'll stand up so you can see it's straight from the bust and i think it's super cute um i wasn't planning to use the jersey for the ribbing i was thinking about using just normal uh, red or white or black ribbing but i was cutting out pj for alice with this jersey and I had this fabric just beside it and they look so fabulous together 
I just couldn't resist. So I decided to just, you know, go a bit wide. I don't know if it's really wild, but, you know, something unusual. So I'm very happy with this top and there will be definitely more. I will do the proper narrow shoulder adjustment going forward and I will adjust the pattern pieces for the neck band and for the um, sleeves band uh, because as I mentioned they were way too wide for what I prefer. I also made some boxers for Chris. I haven't had the chance to finish his PJ but I will get on to it over the next few days and the rest of the makes are for Alice. As you might remember, I mentioned that I would do kind of mini capsule wardrobe for Alice so things she can mix and match uh, to get different outfits. So um, I decided to use a bit of remnants and there is one upcycling project and there is one set. So first is this top I made for Alice. I will actually show you sleeves on the close up. Uh, fabric is cotton jersey. I got it in Crafty Studio a few months ago. Ribbing is from Ecobee. I just thought that this multicolor pinks will look great with this fabric. And I used a bit to make leggings for her. So for the top I used pattern from Autobra magazine. For leggings, uh, I use Love Notions legging pattern. Uh, for kids, I just added the waistband uh, and I just made them shorter so they are like a longer shorts and hopefully they will be, uh, they will still fit her next year. She loves how it's turned out uh, so I'm hope, uh, she will, I hope she will enjoy wearing it. Next make for Alice is this top. Pattern is also from Autobra magazine. Fabric is from Fabric Outlet. I got this fabric for Tress Bell for me and I have it cut out. It's semi done. I need to work on it a bit more. And I had a fair bit left. So I cut out the t-shirt and I cut out a brea top uh, sorry, Brea Shorts by Little Lizard Kings. Uh, I haven't had the chance to do the shorts yet, uh, but it will be done over the next few days. I still need to finish neck band here. It needs a tiny bit of um, cotton or um, like a twill tape, something to cover the seam. This fabric wasn't the easiest to work with. It was almost like trying to sew with water. It was very slippery and uh, I don't know, it just neither my overlocker nor my sewing machine were very happy with it. I tested both Janome and Singer and I did on Jaguar and I actually had to do a fair bit of base stitching for things to stay the way supposed to be. So, you know, sometimes things are challenging, but I love how this top turned out and uh, she ha so she will be able to wear it with the Brea top, uh, Brea shorts that I will make for her. She has khaki shorts, she has pink shorts um, and I think she has dark navy, something like that. So plenty to choose from. So I hope she will like wearing it. And the last top I made for her is Upcycle. So um, Alice got the top from my neighbor. Uh, she bought this top for herself. It didn't fit her. It was small size 8, like adult size 8. So we put it on Alice and it was too wide. But the fabric was great quality and um, we didn't want to wait for her to grow into it, especially because even though fabric was great, the quality of the finish wasn't there. So I will pop the picture of Alice wearing the top. Sorry for the mess in the background. It was just randomly taken. So I use a 
top pattern from Autobra magazine. I, I basically took everything apart. It was a lot of seam ripping. Uh, I leave the sleeves uh, the shape they were. I just added elastic inside. And I don't know if you can see. Okay, my stitching is not perfect. Uh, I used uh, underwear elastic uh, in the very similar color because I didn't want uh, white elastic to peek through uh, between the uh, embroidery uh, so I just used the pink underwear elastic and I think it turned out great uh, she tried it on yesterday she loves it I'll pop the picture of her wearing it sorry for the face uh, yeah, it was shortly after we had a discussion about Reaper not being well, so she, she was a bit upset. So that's all things I made this week. Uh, what are my plans? I want to finish everything I have cut out. So I have a dress bell cut out and I have um, the simple yoke tea and um, by wardrobe by me cut out as well and i cut out the um, feel pretty pants from ellie and mac i decided to hack the waistband and use tutorial by alisa from thoughtful creativity and add flat front panel and um waist uh, like ties and of course pockets so it will probably take me two days to finish that. And um, I also cut out the top from the remnants of the fabric I was using for the pants. Um, I haven't started on the top yet. Top will be kind of a jigsaw puzzle because I didn't have enough of the width of fabric to cut out front in or back in one piece everything is cut out like halves so I need to just put everything together um, and that's all what I'm planning we have quite busy next week it's last week of school uh, there will be a few things to do for that so I just don't want to overwhelm myself with too many things um, and I'm working on collaboration with uh, my dear sewing friend and you will see the video on the 4th of July and I have another video coming on Monday because I've been tagged by uh, Tiffany from Hoger Handmade in the five sewing uh, sorry five essentials for the clothing uh, it's like a tag challenge started by a uh, Sarah from Naughty Gnome Crafts. So my video will be up on Monday. I will be actually finishing recording it after I'm done with this. You know, makeup and all. <laughs> Don't have to redo it. I got happy mail from my dear friend Mari from Mari Sews. Uh, Mari is organizer of the uh, September action for Dress a Girl around the world. Uh, I'm sure you know who she is. She's a fabulous person and she's so kind and so nice. And uh, I don't know if she knows how much she did for me in respect of uh, self-confidence and the body image with her videos and her openness about uh, struggles she had and uh, I would be forever grateful to her and she sent me a parcel um, she, a few weeks ago she uh, commented under one of my videos that you know I'm going for John's sale if you want any of the patterns let me know so I did ask for a few patterns and she sent them to me I will show you first the one that she chose herself it's Nomi pattern it's fabulous it's completely not my style it's not something i would go for it and i love it i cannot wait to make it and i'm gonna go for the mini first i might extend the skirt tiny bit so it's knee length um but i just 
I just love it. I love all the like a uh, shirt type um, dresses. So this is up my alley and you know, if I would see on the website, I wouldn't even stop to look at it twice, but it's just fabulous and I'm very excited. I ask for this pattern for trousers. It has a very interesting line drawings. So if you can see the back has slightly unusual shape and I cannot wait to make them. And next one is this top from Wacko's and I just love all the views. <laughs> and this top from the Batterick and I just I just love all of those and it's perfect for things like French Terry, Jersey, so I'm sure I will make a good few of those and I'm going to test all possible views. My favorite one is this one. It's a Gertie pattern. It has, you know, a slightly vintage vibe. I just love how cute it is. I'm planning to make first this view, view A, just omit the front ties uh, because they are just added piece. Um, and I think it will look super cute. And I love this one. You know, it's flowy, it's boho, and I'm planning to make view B first. Uh, because I love good flutter sleeve. I also got some labels from Mari. And I got a kit for making a voodoo doll pincushion. So I haven't made the pincushion yet. I promised Alice I will wait for her um, and we'll do it together over the weekend. I, we did try to squeeze in some time uh, this week, but it was just crazy week. So we decided no, we need time to focus on it. So we will do it over the weekend. And I got some labels. I got dress a girl labels from Mari, a good few of them. So I will add them to my dresses going forward. And I got some of the labels that Mari makes. Um, if you didn't know, Mari has a business where she makes leather stuff. So she makes gorgeous hats, bags, uh, covers for sunglasses. Uh, she makes uh, pin cushions and they are just so cute. So uh, she's, she also makes labels and I will leave the link to the labels uh, in the description below. So I got those ones. I got that one. There is few more. I'm just picking the few. This one. That, that one is my favorite. That one. That one is Ali's favorite. And of course, you know, it's a kitty. And that one. And they are quite thick labels. So uh, they are very good quality. They feel very sturdy. That's a good word. So not something that, you know, will break very quickly. So I'm, I'm extremely happy and I feel spoiled. So thank you so much, Mari, for... Uh, making my week. That's it for today. Thank you for watching. Have a wonderful day. Don't forget, clean your machine and change your needle. And I would appreciate if you could give this video a thumbs up, subscribe and leave the comment down below. Do you have any sewing friends in your sewing space? What are your favorite sewing gadgets? If you would like to check mine, I recorded a video and I will leave the link down below when I talk about my five favorite sewing tools. Happy sewing! Bye!